I guess you're so curious about human nature. What about people fascinate you? Does anything still surprise you? Oh, constantly. Yes. <laughs> I constantly surprise myself. Okay. Um, how so? I mean, I mean, why do we do what we do? Um, or why do we not do what we want to do? And how can we change if we want to change? I mean, I'm fascinated by that. You know, anytime someone does something successfully, I'm always like, how did you do that? Um, I really want to know, you know, how did you do it? And often people are, are, aren't very good at explaining how they did something, which is why I think sometimes they find it hard to repeat because they don't yeah. understand what, how they set themselves up for success or not. And, and, you know, and sometimes it's charming and then sometimes it's kind of like, oh my gosh. I mean, I just remember this. I can be a happiness bully. My sister, who's the co-host of the happier podcast with me, calls me a happiness bully because if I think there's a way for you to get happier, I can get kind of insistent. <laughs> so I was talking to a friend of mine and he was like, okay, my new year's resolution is I'm going to get up early and go for uh, at least a two mile run every morning before work. And I was just like, have you met yourself? Because no, you won't. I mean, I don't want to be discouraging, but you're a night person. You can barely get up out of bed in time to get to work. I mean, I see how slowly you move in the morning. You're a night person. You should try to exercise later in the day. It would just, it's, you're just going to set yourself up for success better because that's when you're, you're most creative and productive and energetic. And it's going to be a lot easier for you to do something like that later in the day. And this was like a revelation to him. Because he just believed like, oh, if something's important to you, you should get up and do it first thing. And he wasn't doing it. He's like, what's wrong with me? I'm lazy. Instead of saying like, oh, 30% of people are night people. And, you know, I have a friend who exercises every night at midnight, which I could not do. And it certainly doesn't sound like a good system, but it works great for her. So why should anybody say that it's not a good idea? Um, so I, I think uh, that's always surprising to me is like, just how people, what people do and the systems they come up with for themselves. I think it's eye-opening because you get to explore so many different types of people. And it's a reminder to everyone that we're so different. Not one thing doesn't work for everyone. So don't try to fit yourself in a box. Like I also am a night person. I like exercising at night, like around like 8 p.m., 9 p.m. Um, but it's different for everyone. So instead of thinking you're broken, <laughs> you know, like you're just different. I couldn't agree more. And I think that that's one of the things that um, is really too bad is I think people really do search for like the best way or the right way. Or they're like, show me the study that will tell me, should my office be messy or neat? And whenever people sort of want to, you know, they want the one pager that's going to tell them like how to do everything. I always say to people, well, what's the best way to cook an egg? And then they always are really puzzled and they're like, well, it depends on how you like to eat your eggs. And then like, and some people are like, well, I don't even like eggs. And I'm like, right. And that's why there can be no best way to set up your life for, you know, for happiness or the way to set up your habits, because the fact that it works for somebody doesn't mean that it will work for everyone. And, you know, for some people, accountability is crucial. They have to have outer accountability, even to meet an inner expectation for themselves. So if they want to read more, they have to join a book group or, or read with their children to keep their kids engaged in their homework or think about their duty to their future self or whatever it might be. But for some people, accountability is actually counterproductive. They don't like the feeling of somebody looking over their shoulder. They don't want somebody to give them a deadline or to tell them to keep going or even encourage them or praise them. They don't want accountability. And so if you say to somebody, a rebel in my framework, who doesn't benefit from accountability, if you say to them, well, you should just sign up for a class. And then they do, and then it doesn't work because they never go. It's like, yeah, that's not surprising mm -hmm. because yeah. for some people that is not, a, that's not a useful tool. As somebody who writes a lot about happiness, a lot of people assume that I'm a huge advocate of meditation. I've tried it twice. I mean, for months at a time, it is not a tool that works for me. I'm not saying it's not valuable. I know many, many people, people that I know well, you know, swear by meditation. My college roommate does like three hours of meditation wow. a day. Wow. It's, it's not a tool that works for me. And that's fine. So instead of thinking there's something wrong with me, why can everybody else do this, but I can't, or spending a lot of time doing something that's frustrating, I can be like, there's a lot of ways to achieve aims whatever I might've thought I wanted to get from meditation, is there another way to do it? 
what's a way that could work for me? Because just because, just exactly what you were saying before, just because something works for someone else doesn't mean it's going to work for you. And if it doesn't work for you, that doesn't mean there's anything wrong with you. It just means what's something else to try? Because, and that's one of the things by studying this is you realize there are so many ways to achieve our aims. It's so fun to see all the different things people do to achieve the same aims with the, the incredible creativity and imagination. Um, but you sort of have to decide like, oh, something's not working, let me try something else. Or if something worked really well in this one area, why don't I see if I can apply that same principle to something else? Which with accountability, I think a lot of people do figure out that they benefit from accountability. So they, they, they build it into many aspects of their life. But some people haven't kind of figured out that pattern, so they're not able to take advantage of it. 